Hello everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. This is uh, Shurful. In this lecture, we're going to learn arrays in JavaScript. So, what is array? So, an array is a special variable which can hold more than one value at a time. So, it is used to store multiple values in a single variable. So, in our you know a regular fundamental a concept about a variable we all know this variable is hold a very value or data but when you need to you know store multiple data in a single variable that time error comes to the picture so in a JavaScript you know pretty much the uh, same concept like other uh, languages the error can store multiple values or data in a through a single variable so an error can hold a mix of different types of data under a single name unlike other languages like if you know Java uh, the error you know specifically error in Java it can hold a similar type of data uh, multiple similar type of data in a single in an array you know in a Java it has a advanced part like a Java collection where there is a list the list can help you to store mix of or different type of type of multiple uh, data in a single variable but in in an array you know uh, in Java it can just hold multiple same type of data but in JavaScript here is the difference that the JavaScript can store can hold mix of or different type of data in a single name or single variable through the JavaScript which is much more benefited over here example you know in a single name or single variable you can store integer string boolean object even an object function and so on okay so we can access the values by refer you know by referring to an index number so index number is a process is a numbering system which works with the array you know specifically identify one specific element in an array okay so we'll talk in more in uh, detail so you know what is index number so let's see the syntax two syntax you know uh, how we can declare an array so here is an in a, in a JavaScript we know like you know if this is your example this is your variable like a r r array and then this is the return type let uh, var whatever you use equals to there's a new keyword and then you know you declare array is a is a reserve word also so array so that's an empty you know array where you can that's the way you can declare inside the bracket you can you know pass some value like over here let cars new new is a keyword then array and then whatever your you know a uh, data or multiple values or up here you can declare this way or you can declare much more easier or much more common way that you know this is your variable let you know return type let uh, this is the variable name arr and equals to in a bracket inside that you know then you can pass your values or data like something over here like let first equals to apple orange pump okay so the, the this one the second one it's much is is more frequently we can see you know in terms of use case okay this syntax most of the people they they follow you know but it's up to you you can use even the first one with a new keyword okay so let's see you know in a real life some example okay let's let's talk a uh, little bit uh, more about the indexing numbers so that it's easier to you know or understand when you are going to you know play with some of the example so let's see let's create um, let's over here let's create um, one of our arrays so, okay so error let's say arr assume that this is our array okay and then here is we have a uh, this is all our integer I'm just putting integers so that it's just uh, easy to understand say 10 and then so since this is an integer so just you'll you'll put a comma you know uh, to make it separate one eleven to another so 30 then 50 okay so this is an array an array of integer value right and then okay 
So what is the index? So in array, since it is a number of, right? So it is a number of element stored. It means multiple element is stored in a single variable. So as soon as we declare this kind of array, you know, in a memory, you know, it, it's allocated some store and and store and and give some space so that it can store all the data or value something like that so this is your array so array name is like this one right so whatever name arr okay this is your array and here you know it's make some specific for each and every element you know it will store in a divided part like so first one first element 10 and then it goes to the second it goes to the 20 then it's 30 okay and next is 50 and so on right so this is the way it's stored in memory and here you know each and every element since each and every element is an individual value or individual data you know for to locate an individual element you know uh, of or from this array you know it's it's uh, in a memory it's also allocated a, an indexing and a number as a reference number you can say it's a reference number so that that reference number using that reference number we can uh, extract that specific value from the total from the full array okay so an indexing uh, it started with a zero so your first element its reference number or index number is zero and second one is one and next one is two next one is three and so on right so it's an and the, the your last one would be and right so this is called indexing this this is called index number and an index number why you need to index number index number is helpful because its index is tied with that specific one single element okay this means 0 means 10 and this 1 means 20 this 2 means 30 so this reference number we can use to get an specific element out of this array list out of this array okay so if we want to only get this array like it, what is the value of uh, you know the last one like 50 so that time we can say that what's the name of the array arr and then if you pass the index number like 3 it will extract that is specifically it will extract the value of 50 it will get this 50 so that's why indexing is very important you know to extract your specific element from an array okay and other hand you know what is the you know if you see the length you know what is the length of your of your Error. the length is like you know how many elements you have in this area so you have one two three four four length four elements four elements so you know this is your length right so your length is one two three so length is nothing just number of elements you have so you can see a length is four and indexing is is three like it started since it started as zero to three so your index it's always other than you can say a length minus one so length minus one equals to your total index so if you what's the length length is over here four minus one so it equals to three which is your total index okay so that's all about the indexing that will help us when you are going to retrieve the data from this from any array uh, for any specific element okay let's go to our play code so in a play code let's see uh, first uh, one uh, example say we're going to use the same example here so fruits is one of our uh, variable array array variable and here is the data like apple orange and palm right so we're using I hope you understand this is the second uh, you know uh, uh, syntax a uh, syntax of the array so we're following this uh, this is the most uh, uses most of the people they use this way they declare the array okay so in this time and or you can use the even the the first way I hope that you remember that right your bar or lead then you use the new keyword 
right then array and this is the value of your array right so this is the way you can do uh, do too so let's you know um, make a comments on this so that we can use just the first one okay so now first is you know we're going to see how you can uh, how we can uh, access an array element okay how to access an array or array element so first we're going to see how to access how to access array or array element array array element okay so to to access an array and array element it's just nothing uh, it's very simple you are going to just if you want to access to full array so you just call the array by the array name so if you want to say example print all the elements the all the elements uh, inside the array it means full array you just say you know uh, say we're going to print it like right? so console.log console.log and then you just call the array by the array variable name you can see over up here so as soon as I put the first the array name you can see it's print over here in a console whole array the apple orange pump this way right and then if you want to just uh, uh, call one specific element say you want to uh, call the first one like apple just for, you want to retrieve the data of the first element from this first array so what to do, how, to, how we can do it so we can just you know call the same so let say console console.log and then you know what's the array name the same array name array name and then inside the array in a bracket you pass the indexing number and we just saw that like you know we're going to use you have to use index number to retrieve or extract any specific element from your array so if you wanna retrieve the first element so the first element the index number 0 next is 1 next is 2 so if you want to get this one the apple so pass the 0 you can see apple is over here right right so that's the way you can you know uh, extract any specific element from an array array and then pass the index number okay so example you know if you want to uh, pass uh, get the index number of the last one 0 1 2 so last one is index number 2 right so let's see I can go to what's the array name so my array name is fruits and then what's your the last index name number two let's put this one in a uh, alert function so alert is will pop up a alert uh, message right so let's alert so in a alert I can just pass this way I'm sorry you can see right away it's it did a pop up right there is it so what's the uh, you know that the palm index number for the palm is two that's why it shows the palm over here right and this pop-up it comes up is the alert function so alert is a JavaScript function so that's we can call that function and pass your you know any any variable any value so we're passing the value uh, using this uh, uh, the array of index 2 okay so that's the way we can call any specific element and extract the value from that uh, element uh, from the uh, array okay so next one if you want to replace or update any element from your array so assume that this is our same array right so, and uh, over here in 0 1 2 here if you want to uh, you know update this palm uh, inst instead of this palm we want to change or replace the this value with the pair so how we can do this just simply same again we are going to call that your array name array name then what's the index number again index number is 2 equals to if we put equals and then if you just you know update the value over here so whatever you wants to say pair pair right so now we update so now index number two in first array index number two zero one two over here it should update pairs instead of pump so it should be like you know uh, pair 
so let's sorry so let's now if we want to again you know print the the, the this full array it should show us now we can see apple orange pear firstly it was this one like apple orange palm and now we, after we updated this right and we did the replacement uh, with the uh, with the pair instead of palm and now we again we print it now it's printed so you can see the palm is got palm is got replaced by the pair so that's the way you can replace an element of an array then if you want to not replace we're gonna add okay we're gonna add any other element to this array we can do this so we have an index right now zero one two so say what's the next element should be like three index number three we can we can put something we can add another element to this array so it is not closed okay just remember that the array is not also closed uh, variable it's open so you can add more you can uh, you can replace it you know so you can do this so to add it so we can the next one is we're going to do uh, say add on one element this is add add a new element add a new element so to add a new element again same thing is very simple so call the array and what where you want to add what's the new index number index number is three and what's the value the value it's say uh, where is the lemon lemon okay so you can see so now if I just print it again it should now add it this you can see now this is the final one apple orange now pear the replacement one and the, finally this lemon has been added to this first array so that's the way we can add an, any element to the your array okay now an array can we know this array can store multiple uh, multiple types of data or elements so here it is all a string it's the same type of data but we also know that it can store multiple different type of data like combination of you know integer uh, uh, string boolean um, uh, object uh, even uh, function right so let's see an example so example would be uh, we're going to say mixed okay mix mixed types of element element elements of uh, mixed type of elements of array okay so here so let's create an object first then we're going to put that object inside the array we'll see okay let's see that uh, we create an object uh, let's let me create an object so let's say var and we're giving an object name it's object name you know if you don't know what is object in JavaScript please watch my previous lecture you will see you know what is object and how to create an object we have talked in detail so you can get an idea about the object so object is another variable over here where it has a properties and properties means it, it can have a multiple properties and a properties is nothing it will have a key and value so key and value com the combination of key and value makes an uh, uh, variable to an object so here person is an object variable and now i'm going to you know give add some properties to this error properties is a key and value right and how to declare it within this color braces so i would say uh, say pro you know we can say the properties is example uh, say okay let's uh, put a first name last name something like that say first name first name this is the first key and the value would be something is string say I would say John okay so this is the first properties with the value and second is say last name okay and the colon and then what's the value value would be say um, John Jackson Jackson and then what's the let's put the uh, some another properties with the 
integer age age is there 40 okay so this is a an object this is an object okay an object name is person where it has a three properties first name last name and age and it has a and their value according to their properties is John Jackson and 40 okay it's a it's a mixed variable so now this is this object can be part of your one element of your array so let's see let me now let me create a, another array let arr array name and what is the so let's declare the array create so array say example I would say the first one is like apple the the way we said and then this array this person can be a part of the array so this object can be a part of the array as we said so this is the mix okay mixing I'm mixing different type of uh, you know element with an array so object could be you know string could be and then and then let's uh, make it uh, add a boolean value say like true true okay, this is the true is a boolean and we can even add a function you know we'll have a separate tutorial for function how to create a function in JavaScript just for now function is a uh, you can say method uh, or or a specific the way it's it uh, you know the reason it create a function is to do some specific job so that it makes your uh, you know code easier and if you need to do a similar type of job in your program you can call that function again and again other than writing the same code okay so we'll have a separate class stay tuned uh, just wait for the function tutorial so here is a function in a JavaScript you can use a function keyword and this is the functions uh, you know the sign and then you can have a function body it's, it's a simple so in your body I can put some alert message alert and then I would say say maybe hello hello okay so this is the end of your function here is the end of function okay and this is our end of my array uh, array okay so this is the array so this is this array it has a so let's give a name over here probably I would say mix array this is the name of my arrays mix array okay so and here it has a mix or different type of element so you can see this is a string value this is an object and this is a boolean value this is a function so now let's see if I want to you know uh, uh, specifically get one element about the uh, what call say maybe person how we can do this same thing so let's print call the person this element and print the value so we can do this let's copy this so first we're going to say console console.log and then here what's our array name array name is mix array right mix mix sorry mix array arr and then what's the uh, index number since person is an object but it's still it is an individual element of the array and we we already saw that if you want to extract any individual value from the array you have to go through with the index number so for person index number is apple is 0 and person is 1 right so we can we have to pass the index number which is one right and you can see now as soon as you code the line you know you pass the index number here is the output you can see so it's called the person so what is the person person it has a object and it has a three pro property and here is a three property first name last name and age and with the all the values so that's the way you can even call you can uh, your object can be part of your array different type of variable different type of data can be part of your uh, array and you can call any one of them individually okay and uh, if you want if you want let's see um, so what if you know you have this is a you ha you create an object first and then you you know you pass the object name so what if you know our we don't have the we can put without even object name we can put the direct value 
key and value in your array with that object name, which is indirectly is object. Okay, let's let's see that how we can do this. So let's copy this over here once again and say this is the one and here I would put instead of person so maybe I would put the you know the key value so like this first name and then probably let's put the first name this key and value okay so this is key and and the value is like this way so this is an object too right this is an object too so indirectly this is an object so instead of putting in a create an object first and put the object name I just put the direct object value you know key and value so if I want to retrieve this this you know this uh, element like the first name how I can do this in that time I would say the similar way so what's our error name error name makes one and then what's the uh, index number it's one and then you know since index number one it has a you know first name uh, the key so we have to if you want to retrieve the value of the key like John you have to call index number dot your object the key the object name which is the first name right so let's copy the first name exactly the same way you paste it there now we can see you can see this is the John okay so you can you can call this way or the name of that you can if you want you can add some concatenation over here too like say name of the name of the first name is colon and then then you add this now you can see see name of the first name is John so this is is a John it will retrieve the John from here and this is your string line of a string right so that's the way you can you can call even a key value and your key value can be part of your array too okay now if you want to if you want to run so this is 0 1 2 3 or from here okay now 3 so if you want to now call your function so if you want to call your function what will happen so this is a function and it is an alert function inside the body's alert will hello so if I call this function as soon as I call this function it will you know uh, retrieve this it will invoke this alert function and it will show a hello it should be so let's see that how we can do this so same way the your error name your error name and then pass the value of the index of this even your function is in one element right so what is the position so 0 1 2 3 right so pass the 3 okay okay why okay so okay so here so this is since this is a function you have to after you pass the your index number so this one and since this is a function you have to also pass the function sign now here we go as soon as you you know you you type this way you call the array and the pass the index number and since this is a function like you know we had we have to pass that if you had a, a you know key and value so you have to say dot key similarly if you have a function you have to pass the function sign this bracket the right way it's invoke this functions body so body is nothing inside is another alert function where it's it has a hello message so it's printing the hello it's a you know showing the pop-up toasted message or alert message with a hello okay so that's the way it's it works and you can call any element doesn't matter it's an object or function or a string or boolean any element you know through your index number following the index number with with the uh, array name okay now let's see how to get the length of an array so we know we have a you know I explained a little bit over here the length of your array the length of your array so that is means the number of your element so if you have so right now you know we have this array 
in the array say example this array mix one mix uh, array one it's it has we know the length is like nothing is number of elements so you you have a element this is the one two three four so four elements over here so what if what if you have a uh, the you know uh, so let's let's talk about first is uh, say example over here the person one okay so we know this is simply it is a it has a person one it has a one two three right so three element so its length is three right but what if you have a array say you have a so example just uh, think about it you have a array and you you have a like hundreds name like first name last name or just first name a hundred students name so that's a too long it's a big array like a big uh, you know it's a the, like a, this array is a holding hundred elements or so how you gonna know that how many elements you have in this array so it means you have to count each and every element then you will find that it has hundred so that's a time consuming and it's, it's not a smart way to do if it's a small uh, number of uh, elements with the array it's easily we can count it's fine we know this the length is like over here one two three or over here one two three four but if there is a hundreds names of a students array and then it's it's very difficult and time consuming like you know to count each and every and find the total length of array so to you know to reduce that kind of you know uh, job we know JavaScript is an object the real strength of JavaScript uh, sorry array is an object in a JavaScript so in a JavaScript error itself an object so the real strength of JavaScript errors are built-in array properties and method so just you know try follow try to follow me so the I'm saying that a JavaScript array uh, it has a built-in properties and method so since JavaScript array in a JavaScript is an object itself an object it has a its own built-in properties and method will have a separate class for the the use cases of different uh, methods that are used in uh, uh, array in JavaScript but for now we're going to uh, use or we're going to know a property which is called length in JavaScript object and which is used to find the length of an array so it makes our job the length property from the JavaScript array you know it makes our job and it can easily find number of your elements from any specific error doesn't matter how long how many elements you have if you have a hundreds 1000 it will automatically find it so that length properties is very strong very helpful when you have a long array you know to find out the length of your array the number of elements of you have in a array right so example uh, let's see our this one our fruits right so we know it has a one two three so if how to use the uh, the the length so it's simple so you you are going to use your fruits okay the error name or let's use this one this one I'm going to use okay so we're going to what is the uh, subject is uh, the length of an array get length length of an array so length is nothing it just total elements right so to get the length of, of an array use a length property from array object in JavaScript and how to use it very simple you call the math your array name array name dot and then you can see there is a all the some some properties it's it's already here it's related with the array because this array is it's it is also as I said it's object in a JavaScript so so it has in it has its own built-in lots of methods or function as well as you know some properties to do some specific to resolve some issues to do some specific job so one of the properties called length okay so you can so this length will have you can see if you hover your mouse to the length you can see up here okay the property set the property say array okay and a string boolean so you can just read that okay so how we can so how do you know so this land method is working let's put this one in our console 
console.log and inside that let's put this length property right away you can see 4 you see console dot so where is the where is the length properties apply length property applied to this array and what this array mix error 1 and it has how y is 4 0 1 2 3 this is the index but if you if you think about a length so it means total number 1 2 3 4 4 elements so that's why it's showing the 4 so that's the way we can easily use length property to find out the length of an array okay and also you know earlier uh, our classes I, I already explained over here here right your length it's uh, your length your, your your index is always length minus one because you ha your length is started with one and your index is started to zero so length is nothing total number of your element and then you know uh, your index would be length minus one because your index is started at zero so that's why it's always less than one right so the length property is always on the other hand you can say length property is always one more than highest array index so whatever your highest error index it's it's a other way to say so you have a highest index is 0 1 2 3 and what's your length is 4 so it means your length property it's um, one more or it's a uh, it's uh, always one more than the highest error index so your highest error index is 3 and it on the top of your uh, 3 it, you know you added one more which is equals to your length like we know this length for this error is 4 right so index number highest index number plus 1 which is the your length other hand you can save right so let's see so let's copy this array again at the bottom so that we can easily explain there okay and here let's see we paste it here because you know the reason why it's showing uh, let's let me you know what let me make a first one okay first one and let's un where is the one was so you know we just make again use this a simple array so that it, it's help us to understand the length uh, properties in some other use cases so let's see this you know uh, so what is that if I want to uh, extract the first element so we have to say simple simply we know first one and then uh, we pass the index number right so like zero right so if we say console console dot log all right we can easily see this we can that's a way we can extract uh, right uh, oh, sorry we can easily extract the first element right from this array so what if I want to extract the last one last one not using index number we can use because as I said like if assume that if your array it's a long array it has a hundreds of elements or 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 50 elements so how do you know that's what is the index number of your last element right it's whether you have to count it 0 1 2 3 4 and 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 then you have to go uh, you know the last one and there is a chance to make a mistake that you know your index because if it's a long it's a too much work other than that's why you know your length is come to the picture so length you know we can easily use the length you know to find out your last index number use your last index number because we know your last index number your length is your length is always you know more than one here we have seen your length it's always you know one addition to your index so your index is always length minus one right that's your index that's your index because index is started to zero and it's the last is you know um, uh, your your uh, started to zero and it's last is uh, you know uh, uh, your whatever it's uh, you know your last element 
and and your length is started to one so if you go to up to n nth uh, element if you have an nth element so your index would be you know a n minus one or your length minus one right so you have a because your index is always less than one less than of your length because it's started with the zero right so here we can you know your length can be very useful to find out the last index number if it's a long array so how can so in that so assume that this is a long array we're not going to use direct index number instead of we're going to use the length okay so how we can use same we're going to call our error name error name and then we're going to now we have to pass the index number so we're not we don't know what is the index number because it's a too long just assume that that time we're going to use your length right so we know that's how to find the length total length total length is again your array name array name dot the length so what it what this will give this will give us a total element right how many it will give us a four because its length is find the in a total number of a element right sorry it will give you three one two three right it will give us a three so what if I kn we know this our index number is uh, always one less than our length so if we say you know length minus one so this is the you know one less than of our length is the last index number of our array right so now let's see if I put this one is console console.log right if I put this one in a console dot sorry right you can see now it's printing uh, it should okay, access the last element okay hold on apple orange yeah that's right right so this this was the the apple was so I got a little bit confused so why is apple printing so echo apple is printing for this one the first one and now you know this is getting the index number three because your length is four and when you say minus one is the last index which is that which is a three it means this one pam and so this getting is pam and then it's printing this one is the last one right or if you want you can add any other uh, string to it. the last uh, element or last fruits name is pam this one so in this way we can easily use the length properties of array to find out your index so if you wanna you know get this one so orange so you can say length minus two let's see you see the orange has come up so because we know this is the second last so if you know the second last it means it will be less than two two less than of your length so that's the it's a very handy and helpful you know properties that you can use you know to extract any specific element when you have a long uh, uh, array you know that time you don't have to ultimately it's getting the index number but using our length properties from the array okay so now let's go talk about so again you know you say you have a um, uh, long array okay so long array like assume this is this is a, our very small array like just a three element is assume that we have a student name of the error variable is student and it has a first name like hundreds of first name right that time if you want to retrieve each and every value every element from there how we how we are going to do so if we just use this like print this way like console.log then students then index number zero one two three even we use the land but it's still you have to write hundreds lines if you have a hundred elements this is not a smart way to do this it's time consuming and this is not a even a standard way to do this so you have that's why we have a looping system right we have learned in our previous lecture that you know there is a different kinds of loop like a for loop for in loop for for loop there is a different type of loop uh, you know available in JavaScript what can help you to retrieve 
you know do the same type of job it can traverse specifically you know for loop is very handy to extract a uh, value or data from your array traverse one element to another element and get the value and and retrieve that value and and print it whatever you want to do so let's see that you know looping an error you know a looping an error probably we'll see the first is we're going to see how we can use for loop to traverse in your uh, in your error from element to element and retrieve the data okay so let's go over here let's add over here one more element probably just I'm going to add one more say mango mango okay and then now now let's see uh, first we're going to see how to use for loop so use for loop for loop in arrow one to retrieve data okay so here so what do you need to do first we'll say we're going to uh, say first for that we all know that for loops that uh, it has a uh, the syntax is first is initialization so we can say initialize v equals to var equals to i equals to say we're going to use so let's declare var equals to so index started to the zero since uh, you know we have to retrieve the data from each and every it started with the first and always retrieve the data following the uh, index number in array so it started with the zero index that's why our for loop is started with the uh, uh, zero and then next part is our condition condition would be how long you want to run the loop as long as we have a element in this loop it means as long as we have a element in the loops it means you can easily if it's a small you know uh, array we know this how many uh, elements we have zero one uh, sorry one two three four we can easily say i less than i less than four since we started with the zero how many index zero one two three so this is our our condition so it, it started with the zero and it will run loop up um, up until three and when is the four value of i it will be out of loop so it will cover all the elements so we can easily use the index number if you know the total index number or total element you know number of element uh, then you will put the you know less than condition and then you have to increment your value of i right and then what is the body of the loop would be so let's see i want to since i want to print you know one by one element so same way that we did over here same way we did right so uh, this time the first one would be oh uh, sorry this time what's the array name just array name first one array name and here when we're going to put the index but our index number is started with the now you know is assigning to i value so we're putting the i here okay so i is now when is i is zero it will be retrieve this one and let's put this one in a uh, maybe in a variable say let's say first name first uh, name so let's put this one and then put this variable in a console or you can put this one directly on console console.log right and then put the variable here right so first name and then you have you have make sure you you declare also this variable so this is a another variable and here I put the our first this uh, you know array of index i so index of i it means when is i is zero you know it will have the apple so apple will be placed on first name this variable and then I'm, I'm, I'm printing this one and then again loop will keep continue increment the value of i from zero to one now is i is one one less than four yes true it will come so i is now one so it will index number one is means orange so from zero to one it's over here so this will be have the orange so this way it will keep continue next one two and next one three right one is four it will uh, jump out it, it, this condition will false jump out from the array and eventually it will print all of them right 
it started with the apple 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 orange so this this is the one let's put this one you know this it, it is, it is apple orange palm mango this four right this this four is the output of this uh, for loop so we can easily use this for loop if you don't know the index number so if you have a uh, lots of elements like you know number of elements that you don't know the index number you know or total length of your arrays so that time you know since it depends on your you know uh, length so this four is nothing is length like one two three four so we put the length and since we started with the zero so our condition is always less than the length so it means if you know the length you know you can your condition would be based on your length so you know that time if it's too long you don't you don't want to count all of your element that time just you put that you know our length properties come this times in the, in the picture so your length can be helpful so we can easily say what would be the your condition based on your length so length is nothing you can find your error name dot length property so this will also give the same answer you can see it's automatically will find the total length of your this array so length property will apply on this array which is the it will find so now doesn't matter how many elements you have in this array it will automatically find the length and your loop will continue your up your condition will be based on this output this length output right so it makes your life much more easier so this is one way to use a you know for loop to traverse or extract your element from your array so on the other hand there is a one more for loop this is a for loop there is a one more loop specifically in in JavaScript you know uh, that help you to traverse or extract value similar way the for loop works to uh, extract your value from your array so which is called for off loop for off loop right for off loop in our previous lectures you know if you go to the, our previous lecture about the loop you know uh, we explain each and all different types of loops available in JavaScript and with the example so if you don't know what is for off loop please go through uh, uh, that lecture and you will able to find it and in the in the description below I can give you the link uh, once again uh, so anyways for off loop it's very easy you know even it's easier than for loop you don't have to think about the initialization you don't have to think about this condition it's automatically find out the condition automatically find out as many you know the loop will continue as long as you have the elements in your uh, in your in your array okay so how this works so again so let's um, uh, you will type for keyword and then you will type what's your uh, loop name error name so this is the, your error name this is very simple so error name and then you will pass one variable so a variable for example x and then off is a keyword that's it so you will you will pass in a for loop your for loop inside a for bracket so you will pass the error name so whatever the error name you are going to error going to use to retrieve the data then you put in a variable whatever the variable name you give it's up to you and then off keyboard off keyword right and then it's up to you what do you want to do say this is your body of your for loop so here you know um, what do you need to do in this case you can you know let's example either we can console we can do the same thing we'll print one by one element from this loop from this loop from this array sorry so we can do the same thing console dot console dot log console dot log and then you pass this variable x okay and you can see there is an error it's saying the x is not defined because you put you we use the variable x over here we didn't declare as a variable so let's declare this variable say bar x okay so it's a variable so now it should work so now how this work so this for off loop it's very easy concept but it's very even easier than your regular for loop so inside this for off loop you know it's, uh, you pass the array and then you use declare another variable so what will happen when the loop will continue you know this first times you know out of your uh, array it will get the first element and it will 
you will store in this variable the variable you are going to declare like x so x will have you know apple and then in whatever he wants to do it's up to you with this with this value if you want to print it you can print it so inside the for a uh, for loop inside the body so i'm printing you know uh, I'm, I'm printing this x you know in a console so so it will have the uh, apple then automatically loop will continue it will go back to your array and it will check is there any other elements next if there is any element next so next element will be stored in x again then again whatever he wants to do again we're printing we're putting the x variable in console so it means that the orange will print you can see the last four okay let's put over here in a one you know another statement so that another string so that you can understand this output so so we'll say console dot uh, let me not here let me put it here mm. console dot log so inside I'm going to say save for off loop examples example of for off loop okay so now you can see so this is the example of for off loop so underneath this is the you know the output you can see so this those are the output right so the next one it will automatically loop will all will automatically continue as long as you have the value or element of your you have the next element in the and the uh, same array and it will get the value and it will put on this ar uh, a variable whatsoever you declare and then you can do whatever you want to do the same way the you see the same for loop we did over here and instead of over here you know we we have to declare initialize we have to put the condition and we have to do the uh, update uh, you know or or increment one then you have to you know find out this so instead of doing all those things just two lines right the for loop and then the body is one line so instead of three four lines three lines I can do it make it two and without taking any headache of the condition all those things automatically so it's for off loop it's very easy and handy you know when you traverse when you need to traverse in an array okay to retrieve the data so you can do this interestingly if you want to do something else let's I can alert it right so let's see that let's put the alert function uh, uh, let's alert function inside alert function I'm going to pass same X so what will happen so this will print and this will alert so let's uncomment this you see as soon as I uncomment this so the first one it comes to apple so first loop it will have the apple if you click on ok it will have the orange the next one is orange and next one is palm and next one is mango right so that's the way your alert is works right and again Pam mango let's put this one otherwise it will it will have come on so this is the very simple way to use for off loop to retrieve any elements or are, are, are all the way all the elements from your uh, from your array okay so that's all about the array you know the basic started the syntax to retrieve the single element retrieve the whole array and the combination of different data can be placed in an array and uh, in a different way you can retrieve by the indexing num uh, number by the you know your length you know using a, a different loops like for loop or off loops okay in our next lecture we're going to talk about you know the, the different methods that comes with the array object since array is the object as I said you know we use the array properties length and now in our next lecture we're going to see you know the use cases of different methods that comes with the array and do some very easy job to do our job very easy and smooth thanks a lot stay tuned have a good one bye bye